Hi everyone. Wow, isn't this weird? Isn't this a weird little situation we've got going on? Uh, hello! Hello! You can see- oh my goodness, there's a little bit of a delay on the camera, which is fine. Um, welcome to Lego Stream. Hello! I will put some- some tunes on, I just have to, uh, turn down the music a little. Um, there we go. Put some tunes on. Some background tunes. Uh, it's me. Hi. Uh, there's so much going on. <laughs> I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, how are you doing? Mario Kart Monday's been building Lego instead. Oh, wahoo. It's true. I was trying to sort all the pieces before, uh, stream. Because I forgot. Um, because they're like, dump out all of the bricks. And I'm like, okay, I'll dump out all the bricks. <coughs> there's so many. So now I have to sort them into little piles according to type. Uh, because that's what you have to do. You can't just reach into the bag and like, just grab willy-nilly whatever you like. That's against the rules. Um, on the downside, now I have to sort bricks. And they're all very small. Uh, so I've, I've got some like little, little tasks to do. Uh, what are we building? I'll show you. Wah. We are building the, um, hold on, let me zoom out a little. Shwoop. We are building the gift with purchase. You can see my sorting over here. Um, uh, we're building the spring gift with purchase of, uh, a trellis. Um, of, of flowers and whatnot. I got this because I spend a ferocious amount of money, and I'm talking about like the thousands, um, on Lego. But for first, I went out and I bought myself a new watch band because I kind of needed one. I'm just going to unbox it on stream because I was like, ooh, it's not interesting. But I can make content out of this. Um, because I wanted something a little bit newer, a little bit fresher uh, for spring. Um, it, it, it teaches you how to put on a watch band. I think I know how. I've been wearing watches most of my life. Um, it's just, I lost, uh, quite a bit of weight recently, so the solo band that I have, which obviously doesn't have a connection on it, doesn't really fit anymore. Uh, it's still a beautiful color, and I still wear it all the time, right? But you can tell it's kind of dirty as well, um, because it's, like, a, a nylon. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, maybe I don't know how to put this on. Uh, let's see here. Let's follow the instructions, actually, whilst I try not to fuck this up. Um, alright. So holes go in the downside, and the thing goes in the upside. Seems pretty self-explanatory. Let's make sure I don't do it backwards. Oh my gosh! Good gosh! Hello, everyone! Oh my god, it's a raid! More raid, more raid! Wow, you come at a weird time. <laughs> I'm unboxing an Apple Watch strap. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you? Welcome, welcome. You've come at an interesting stream because we're kind of fucking around right now. How is everyone? How is stream? Babby, how are you doing? My name is Pumko. I am your guide to the information superhighway. And today we are building some Lego. We are building uh, this gift with purchase today. How's everyone doing? What were you doing? What were you up to? Were you were you uh, were you drawing or were you playing games or what were you up to? What's going on? I gotta fix my alerts broke again, unfortunately. Wizard with a gun. Ooh, I don't know if I've heard it first time and it was fun. I'll have to check it out because I haven't heard of that. Can everyone hear my my sweet tunes before I continue on? As if people can hear my sweet tunes. Because I'm going to start singing, and without context, it'll be embarrassing for me. You hear the tunes? Perfect. Well, that's all that matters. Um, 
So yeah, we're building gift with purchase. You can tell it's a, a gift with purchase because there's a gift. <laughs> nice nails. Thank you. I did them special there. I've got, I bought like a lot of polish recently. So I have some very interesting colors to do. Jojo music. Yes, the Jojo tunes did make it to the playlist. And when I say I bought a lot of nail polish recently, it is all sitting next to me <laughs> on my desk. <laughs> so we've got like so much to look at. We've got, let's see, these three, these beautiful polishes here are all thermals. So they change color when they get hot. We've got like a beautiful magnetic shimmer. You can see it's blue, but it kind of shimmers to purple. That's quite nice. And there's a silver uh, shimmer throughout. They did. Um, this is a, you can tell it's kind of a, well, you can kind of tell this way. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, not a duochrome, but it's close. It's a chromatic shift polish. Then we have just like standard shimmer, which I really like. This is the one I'm currently wearing. It's called Dark Horse. I love it very much. And um, this one is called Bottled Rage because I was actually really frustrated and angry when I put in the order. So I was like, ooh, red shimmer. <laughs> I like it. And then from a different brand, I have like holographic polishes and shimmer polishes. You can kind of see here. If anyone wants to talk to me about nail polish, I know just a, a frightening, just a frightening amount of about lacquer. Um, sorry, I was, I was sorting out pieces. You can kind of tell on the right that I've been sorting and then I got distracted. Ugh, there we go. We'll just put those here. Um, put this over here. And we'll figure out the rest when we get to it. All right, let's, let's open some instructions. Let's see what we've got going on. Okay, step one. Brick. Brick. See, this is why you should sort your bricks before you start. Um, and like, you can tell if I just turn the, you can see I've got like a ton of, of piles of crap here. <laughs> there we go. We'll just, do you want me to zoom in? I can zoom in a little. Is this, is this first piece placed? I don't know if this is worth it. Oh, well, there we go. A hydrate. Good call. I'm hydrating with water today. Mm. Oh, the downside, the effects doesn't happen. Deserves, <laughs> deserves a drink. Hell yeah. All right. Let's honestly, I was so shocked when I opened this box and realized like, this is how thick the manual is for a free product. <laughs> it is 96 pages long. Well, 95 full of pieces. I didn't realize the set was going to be huge. Uh, alrighty. Peace. So now we just get to chill. We get to listen to tunes. We get to, uh... Build some Lego. What's everyone's been doing? How's everyone's weekend? I said I would be around and then I never was. Which was... It looks big for gift. Yeah, well, it should be. I spent freaking a thousand bucks on Lego. It should be a giant gift. <laughs> so I'm glad it is. How was how are we doing? I was I said I'd be around. I wasn't around. Instead, I uh sat on my butt, which is not unusual for me. Um but I I was not streaming and I was gonna I was gonna do this Lego stream on Saturday and then like shit came up and I was like I don't really want to stream and I guess we're putting this to the side for now and then I uh Sunday I was like oh, I should stream and then I didn't <laughs> and now boom bam we are actually finally building Lego together also, this is, for anyone wondering, this is Bowling for Soup. Uh, if you're thinking they sound familiar, it's because they did the th uh, the theme song for Phineas and Ferb. 
met a new cat while walking home today. That's incredible. That's what I wish happened to me. I just went to like a massage therapy appointment, which is also quite nice, but like not as fun. I got like seriously hurt, but I pay for him to do that, so it's okay. I've never been like cats and I we have been, you know. We're we're not we're, we don't really get on, you know? Dogs and I besties. Uh, cats and I, we are, you know, we are like kind of like colleagues, for lack of a better word. We're like colleagues. All right, what is it asking me to do? Put this on here. And then put this on here. And then, oops, I need another one of these. And we'll put this one over here. All right, put this here. Put this here. Put this here. Did you- I heard on the news the other day that someone built, like, the Lego, um, Millennium Falcon. They, like, beat the speed building record. Um, like, they have a different strategy to the way, like, I do building, so I don't think I would- Mind you, if I use their strategy, I think I would be. I I could beat the record. Relaxing and playing video games is the way to do it, man. I I took an hour long walk on Sunday, and that was pretty cool. I was very gross because it was very hot. Okay, now what are we doing now? Okay, we're here, we're here, and then we're here. We're here? We're here. No. Incorrect? Did I? Okay, hold on. Have I fucked this up already? Why does it say that that, that is the way? How do I... Okay. Something. I've... I seem to have fucked it. There we go. Silly me. I was so focused on other pieces. There we go. Distraction. I, I'm i too busy talking about how much better I would be at Lego building than the fastest Lego builder. <laughs> there we go. Now it actually looks like the picture. All right, moving on. We need another two of these. And another two of these. Okay, and now we're even we're even holding it the right way. See, I have a I have a thing. Every every step. So for those of you who don't build larger Lego sets, um, when they start getting really big, they start numbering the bags. And um, it what we do, and when I say we, I mean my father and I, because my father and I build Lego together. So, we, like, open up bag by bag, sort all the pieces, build to the next bag. And then we open bag number two, and we sort all the pieces, and then we put it together. And then we do on and on and on for, like, 30. 30 bags or whatever those big sets are. Um, and it is a lot of fun, but it's it's slow. It's slow work. And I think, like, when you have a drink, when you have, like, a like a glass of, of like Ryan Coke or whatever, whatever your, your bevy of choice is. Um, and, and you're, you've got the tunes going and it's, oh, it's a good experience. Build Lego. It's so relaxing. It is almost, I would consider med like a meditation exercise, you know? I, too, send everybody uh, Instagram reels, just on a general basis, not just to make people feel better, but I I just send them to be a nuisance, TBH. Mr. Gibby can attest. I think I send him, like, 40 reels a day. Ugh. 
if 40 reels is like an understatement all things considered all right now what we got two of these Oop. and we need two of these Oop. Shoop, shoop. oh nope only need one of those i take it back i'm a shitty lego builder um there we go I love how they'll put, like, here's where you need to put them when the color of the piece, when the color of the pieces are different to the ones you're putting them on, and also it's two pieces and they're really big and obvious. Meanwhile, they'll, like, say, I need a piece of the same color. They'll, <laughs> shit. They'll be like, here, put this one tiny piece, like, on here, and there will not be an arrow to it or anything. It'll just be like, good luck! Idiots, we told you. <laughs> we told you where to put it, even though they kind of haven't. One, two, three, four. One. Pardon me. Pardon my sniffles. Two. Three. And four. Ugh, I'm so good at this. One, two. It does. Every time you, you f build something you, like, kind of recognize or every time you're like, oh, like, I finally got that piece or whatever, it makes you feel so good. Um, this way. Right? Yes. And then it goes here. Yes. It's happening. And then this piece. And then we put it like that. And then it goes like this yeah that's correct ah um where's my okay two of these one of these and then this green thing i will say it's really convenient to um have pieces like this that are just super green or you noticed there was some red that is now covered up in here um it's handy to have piece colors that are not just the same over and over again and i'll tell you why um the person i i build lego with all the time my dad is colorblind <laughs> he can't <laughs> he can't um he can't tell the colors very well so it's really helpful for him to have these like standout landmarker pieces. I don't know if that's like why they do it. Um, they could be doing it for like a totally different reason. Uh, but just so you know, Lego, my dad uh, really appreciates uh, the random colored pieces. Sometimes they're a little too, s the colors are a little too similar to each other and uh, he can't see them super well. Like, between the, um, like, for example, if, if these two were the same shape, he wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. Um, so sometimes I come in and be like, oh, actually it's this, or, you know, like, double check, or whatever. Um, because each time we build a Lego set together, we go step by step, so, like, I'll do this page, and then we'll flip, and then we'll set out all the pieces, and then he'll do this page, etc., and then we go back and forth, back and forth. Um, and that's just the way we've always done it. Don't tell him, but I'm getting him a Lego set for Father's Day. <laughs> and we're going to build it that weekend because it's not that big. As, as, like, comparatively to the other sets we've built, it's not that big. Um, but yeah, it's just handy to have these these big bright pieces occasionally. They could do more like accessibility wise, but it's also it's Lego, so <laughs> you gotta make it look like what it looks like. And we build a lot of like Star Wars Lego sets, and I don't know if you've watched like the original trilogy recently, or even just any Star Wars movie. All the ships are the same shade of gray, <laughs> so we have like. 12 lego sets that are all the same color <laughs> and sometimes building like that shade of gray over and over again is kind of tricky it's tricky to look at 
let's uh let's get my pieces i need four of these and then two of these let's see here oh piss oh we do this first okay eh. i gotta there we go sorry i keep going slightly off camera because i'm holding them close to my face so I can actually see, and that's not the best to do for a, a top-down camera. Oh, man, you know what? I've been trying to exercise more, I've been trying to drink more water, because, you know, the, you're supposed to, or whatever. Um, You know, all it's done is made me fucking need to piss, like, all the time. Oh, it's good for you. It's good for you. I'd rather be a camel. My office doesn't have bathrooms in it, so I have to go down like a two flights of stairs, which is not accessible, by the way. Um, so I'm constantly now doing stairs. Oops, I dropped a piece. Um, and I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> but you know, alas. But yeah, I've been drinking like 40 plus ounces of water now per day. My body's not used to it. It is fucking rebelling and violently. Wait, I only have three of these. Never mind, I have way more. I'm an idiot. I hate the the things that they're like, this will make you feel better. And you're like, no, it won't. Oh, I learned my coping strategies. I know what works for me. And then you like try the thing that they said would work. And it like kind of does. <laughs> they're just like, go outside and like get fresh air and go in the green spaces. And you're like, that'll never work. That's a myth. I'm going to be depressed outside as well. And then you like go outside and you're like, actually, this is pretty nice. <laughs> God, wow, they really owned me with that one. So now I, like, frickin' take my little dog or my little frickin' hot girl walk, and it's always, like, 30 degrees, and I end up being sweaty and disgusting, so it's not really a hot girl walk, it's just kind of a walk. If anything, it is, like, a gross girl walk, when you, like, get all sweaty and... Like, your hair is, like, sticking to your forehead because for some reason you're just like, yeah, give me bangs. It's summer. I'll live. Idiot. Um. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me this before? Me after doing something someone <laughs> told me would help, like, 50 times. Yeah, 100%. You know how many therapists were, like, go outside? Yeah. And then I was like, no, I'm going to be a hermit crab for life. And then I wor like worked outside at a golf course. And I was like, wait, this is actually awesome. I love being outdoors in the green. Uh, yeah, what a fucking humbling experience that was. So, just so you know, maybe not being a hermit for... Oh, fuck. There's 12? Do you see it tells me I need 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. And now I just need to build fucking six of these. Brilliant! Oh, fuck. Also, for anyone who's curious, these are the Backstreet Boys. Yes, they're still doing music. Yes, it's still amazing. No, I will not shut up about it. I love the Backstreet Boys. If there's one thing you need to know about me, I love the Backstreet Boys. Not as much as some people I know, but enough to like download their Christmas album every year, you know? Oh, Matt, what do you do? I'm glad you spent some time outside. I'm not glad that you got sunburned. 
Have you invested in perhaps an excellent sunscreen? And did you reapply several times? I forgot to turn on... Sorry, I forgot to turn on um, my streaming so I wouldn't get Twitter notifications. My focus! There we go. Um, I would on screen. It was an hour. Look, man. Just go when it's overcast. I I can't pretend to understand. Um, I am currently... Check me out. Look at my arms. I'm tan right now. How believable is that? Fucking white as a ghost. But this is me tan. You want to fucking... You, it doesn't pick up on... Look at that! I'm a beast! My fucking... My... My slightly less white is still... White as shit! Oh, I'm embarrassed. There we go. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three. God bless the rains down in Canada. Um, hmm. it was rainy here too. I was so pleased. Um, two. Pardon me. I hope that burp didn't come across. That was disgusting. Two, two. And two. You know what? Never mind. I take it back. I hope that burp came across. I hope everyone had to suffer through that with me. God, we... <laughs> The attention to detail on this thing is actually a little fucking alarming. There we go. And one of these. Perfect. Whoops, again, sorry. I'm fucking not doing my best at, at putting it on camera. Because I need to see with my eyes. I'm going to the optometrist tomorrow. Um, to, you know, see. As it were. Um, and I'm kind of... I've never had a great relationship with the optometrist. I have great vision. I've got fucking fabulous eyeballs. Um, but... I don't know, like... You go in, and they're like, look at this hot air balloon, and you're like, okay, and then they're like, don't move, and you're like, what? And then they just go, Pff, and blow a puff of air right in your eye, and then you jump, because it's startling, and they're like, I said don't move, and I'm like, I swear to God, I did not do this on purpose. Uh, and then they have to take the picture, they gotta do it again, and you jump again, and they're like, okay, like, we can't do this again. And I'm like, okay, then don't. It's not, like, super necessary uh, for me and my poor little babby eyes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oops. Never mind. That's done. One, two, three. Perfect. Um, yeah, I've got to measure that whatever the fuck. Oh, sick! We're on bag number three! And we got three itty-bitty extras. Yeah, I'll put those over there. Okay, bag three. Three of five, by the way. Last time I went to the optometrist, or the eye doctor, if you're unfamiliar, um, they were like, cool, so... Uh, your eyes are really good. You've got like 20, 10 vision or whatever. I can see uh, at, at 20 meters what most people would need 10 meters um, to see clearly. And I was like, cool, that's awesome. 
um they're like yeah you're you have a bit of astigmatism and i'm like yep i knew that that was that's a, been a lifelong issue for me and she goes actually um as compared to your last visit you're you're less you're less farsighted than you used to be i was like that's really cool why did that happen she goes as people get older um you get like increasingly nearsighted over time and I was like, cool. She goes, your nearsightedness, uh, your increasing nearsightedness is actually canceling out your original farsightedness. So your eyes are just like slowly getting better. <laughs> uh, you will reach a point where you will need glasses probably before other people do. And I was like, man, I've been wearing glasses for like, I wore glasses for like the first 16 or so years of my life. The fact that you're telling me I might need them at, like, 35, I do not give a shit. Uh, and I need this. Oh, I need four of those, actually. Four. Perfect. Uh, alright. Let's put this off to the side for now. My optometrist is, like, 90. Complains my glasses care. Uh, and complains compliments sorry i heard i read complaints and i'm like the fuck uh compliments your glasses care for quote unquote someone so young you must have danced home you must have absolutely lost your mind i was told you you were told your eyes are so bad you're not even a good candidate for lasik that's rough dude i feel like every time i'm like oh yeah this happened to me everyone's here so fucking lucky like yeah of course i'm lucky most of my existence fun fact uh, is me just being lucky i'll tell you that right now everything about my life is luck um i need one of these and then two of these and then i need one of those and one of these I am just an incredibly lucky person. Your glasses are about... Glasses about eight years old. You need to go to the optometrist. You need to go to the eye doctor right now. You bought them at Sears Optical? That's hilarious. Congratulations. You bought them at a store that doesn't fucking exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear dear your eyes haven't changed nice um my mom went to the optometrist recently and she had to convince the opto she's just like look i don't actually see this poorly and they're like yeah because the difference was like night and day she goes i don't actually see this bad and the optometrist was like yeah it's because your body has like adjusted to the um like how bad your glasses suit you <laughs> so <laughs> but you still need to get new glasses uh she was advised to either have someone like drive her home or to like keep her old glasses until she made it home because they're so different and i was like man that is ridiculous uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. They shipped from their Australian store. Jesus Christ. I hope you didn't get charged for that. I would have been peeved. Okay. Eh. I need two more of these. Where do these go? Here. Here and here. See, when it's shit like this... There needs to be an arrow, because I don't know that they mean this one and that one, or whatever, this one. There needs to be... I need to be able to see. Okay, that's all done. Oh, piss. Hold on. Um. Oh, yeah, you can, like, hang this up. That's one of the most brilliant parts of... Oopsie. About this set, is, like, you can hang it from a wall if you want. Glasses and sunglasses, like, 300 after tax. 
I am going to use, if I need glasses, you fucking best believe my insurance will be uh, fucking hearing about it. <laughs> um, you ain't getting a fucking dime out of me, that's for sure. I'm not fucking paying for glasses ever again. And that's not just because I got bullied relentlessly for wearing them in school and now I have a problem about it. I feel like, honestly, glasses are a brilliant accessory. One, they help you see. And that's pretty fucking swell. Two, like, if you buy ones that, like, suit your and frame your face, like, they do wonders for you. You know? One, two, three. Okay, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Whoops. These two. What the fuck? I guess. Never mind. I figured it out. I was like, why are these pieces here? And then they're probably for like balancing the bottom side i understand i understand i'm a smarty patootie i'm just gonna fuck you know what so long i don't care how much it costs the insurance company genuinely couldn't give less of a shit honestly if i were paying this out of pocket i would go to the cheapest place on planet earth um, but I don't care. Uh, the same way I bill, uh, for, like, medication stuff. I don't give a shit. They're like, oh, you can get a lower fucking fee at another place. Don't care. Don't pay it. All right. Sorry, that was, I think, completely out of frame. I keep forgetting to look up. All right, let's put this bad boy together. Whoops. Oh. 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 Don't you have insurance maximums? Yeah, but I never hit them. I don't use it for, like, a lot. <laughs> uh, insurance pays for eye exams every two years and new frames every three. Yeah, that's... I think mine's, like, roughly the same. Which is why I was very interested um, when I got an email from my glasses place or my optometrist. They're like, uh, you're new! And I'm like, okay, sounds good. I haven't had my eyes checked in a minute. All right, look at this. We're done. Bag number three. This is fun. Let's look at bag number four. Oh, look at bag number four. It's so green. Ugh, I love this. I love building Lego. I thought that this was going to take way longer than two hours. Turns out, I think I was wrong. Oh, look, look at that bag. Sometimes they put little bags in the big bags, and I'm like, oh, little bags in the big bag? Why don't you just... Anyways. Back in the olden days of Lego, like a billion years ago, uh, when they numbered the bags, it would be like bag one, two bag twos, a bag three, four bag fours. Like, it was never... <laughs> it was never just, like, one bag of each number. They would not unless, and then they would have like these little fuckers inside. So when they're just like open bag three, I'm like open bags, bags three, silly goose, and also fucking stop, <laughs> stop doing this. It's so irritating, and someone must have complained because they stopped doing that, uh, in their newer sets, which I'm so grateful for. Because holy shit, was that ever so annoying? Sorry, I'm just sorting all my bits. 
You gotta throw the bits before you build with the bits, you know? This is how you do it. You can't just build from a clump like this. Oh, man, oh, man. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Put those over there. Oh, look at these little flowers. They're so, they're so cute. But you know what's cuter? This ladybug. Look at how cute she is. She's a queen, an icon. Truthfully, she's a stunner. Um, take all the little blue flowery bits. And also, this is like one of my favorite shades of blue, so that's handy. Swoop. Um, get all these pieces. Look at these! They're like little knobbits. For lack of a better word, which I don't think is a word, but we're gonna pretend. Pardon me. There we go. Now you all get to suffer with me. Here we go. Two little ladies. Look at that. All right. Don't oh, piss. I forgot about these. Ah! Oh, here's here's a fucking good example of what they do. They put pieces like this one and this one in different bags because they're the same piece but in a slightly different shade of green. Which would be very difficult uh, to tell apart if you could not tell greens apart. Oh, look at all these little stems. I can't wait. This is going to be a good build. Sorry, I'm so snotty. My frickin' allergies are acting up again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Give me good never. <laughs> I don't think he has a problem with greens, honestly. Is there a problem with greens? I can't remember. Um, how do I... There's so many little bitties. I know I'm gonna knock like half these off, by the way. Just wait until you hear like the pitter patter of little bits falling to the ground and me screaming for Hershey not to eat them. Okay. One, two. Bits and bites. I'm hungry. And then one of these. Perfect. So far, so good, folks. Also, I'm just gonna put this off to the side. Boop. Until we need her again. Oh, we need her again. Um, well, for now we don't. Let's see here. We're gonna get one of these. One of these. And one of these. And for later, one of these. Uh, okay. It's hard because I have a black background and some of the pieces are black, so that's my bad. Whoopsies. And then we're just going to put this on here, like this, I think. And then, oh god, I know this is not descriptive. Then we're going to slide the piece into the other piece. Never mind, too descriptive. <laughs> you know, do that step 20 times. Um, all right. It has this fun little one-to-one, -one, so you can see if you fucked it up. And it truly is a one-to-one. -one. So good job. Good job, Lego. What? I've already missed a step. I'm already a buffoon. <laughs> Great! Alright. We're gonna put that there. And this here. What an idiot buffoon I am, skipping steps. And now, we're gonna do fucking eh. Eh. Nope. Ah. Just gonna. Nope. 
Not gonna do We're gonna- Fuck! Bionicles ruin Lego. Sorry, I know that's controversial. <laughs> it's not what I meant. There we go. Whew! Sorry, that kind of just came out of my mouth. Um, let's put this here. I'm. Uh, by the way, I I I don't think that Fire Uncles ruined Lego. That's it saved Lego. Um, but these freaking like clicking pieces drive me fucking bananas. What is this? Fuck this. Um, go away. Go away, little trellis. All right. It's a vine. It must be. Road work ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Sorry. I know that was... Dumb. I miss Vine. Didn't expect to join on such controversy, right? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Now we take a light green one. We do this. We just keep building this vine. Free Shavaka, do. I got fucking vine references for days. For days. Ooh. Little tri branch here. Interesting. And then one of these weird things here. Oh, I love it. What the fuck? The hell am I doing? Um. I hope they have a one for one on whatever page is the last of this. Sounds like Simlish. Yeah. I I agree. Do 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 do. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna do this. Wah. And then grab another one of these, and then another one of these weird ass brown thing. Oh man, it's weird. It it's kind of it kind of functions like um like a Lego cape, like you, one you'd find on like a little Lego man, um, but it's a piece, <laughs> and it wigs me out. Ah no, I dropped it. Okay, there we go. And then we. Pop this right in here. Shabang. Shaboom. And then on the other side, we put a greenie. A light greenie. And then we do a another one. A little brown. Boop. Perfect. Oh, piss. Oh, see? Here's the one to one again. Thank God. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by the fact there's more pieces. One, two, I guess that's the good thing about Lego, getting distracted that there's more pieces. Um, oh, what's all these freaking silver bits, dude? Let's use the red one. The red one goes here, right? Let's check. Yeah, it does. Okay. Wah! Okay, and the rest are silver. Can't believe it. I love it when they repurpose weird pieces. For example, I'll show you a ah, I'll show you a really help. Uh, I'll show you a better a, a good example right over here on my desk. Ugh. Bonsai tree. All of these little pink nubbins are all frogs. They're all little pink frogs. Look at how cute they are. Little buds. They're frogs. Also, I can't flip it over because there's loose pieces in the bottom of this. But under here, there's um like rubber things. I think they are tires. There's actually one, if you look carefully... I tilt it the right way. Right? Right here. He's a frog. He's a brown frog. And, uh, my dad and I put little eyeballs on him. 
Because we were like, he's the only actual frog. <laughs> back. <laughs> All right, back to the current build. Um, but yeah, they repurpose weird shit all the time. Um, I think it's because they just have too much in the warehouse that they already printed, and they're like, well, actually, now we just need to use these. And, like, whenever they run the simulation of, like, checking, like, what pieces, or, like, how to build, like, a super excellent set, um, they, like, cross-reference with like, whatever they have in inventory. <laughs> I think that's how it goes anyways. Um, yeah, this is correct. Perfect. And now, we're going to take this and put it the same way. And we are going to Put him here. Yes, that's correct. Ah! Ah! There we are. Perfect. Yes, that's correct. And whilst we're here, we'll put the next two nubbins on. I just think it's neat. Marge Simpson is 100% the most quotable character on that show. Don't. Don't even. Is it? Is it Bart's uh, Eat My Shorts? No. Is it Homer's? No! No. It's Marge Simpson. Truly. I don't know if you remember The Simpsons. Hi, Karumba. That's true. I don't know if you remember The Simpsons from the back in the day. Um, But it was actually really good. And Marge was a hell of a quotable character. And she was a very complex character. And I miss that side of her dearly. What I think people miss out on when they especially like people that are newer to The Simpsons and have only really seen like the first like the latest little bit I think they're missing out on a lot of really really well written content. Not joke wise well yes joke wise. Also joke wise. But also, like, there's a huge amount of depth to these characters that doesn't get really explored anymore. Which I miss. I miss, you know, Marge is, like, she's always wanted to be an artist, and I miss, like, Homer actually giving a shit about his kids in a way that matters, that he made sacrifices for. It was... It, it was deep, and it, it was so well written in contrast to the dumb humor that it and the crass humor that it became quite known for. Like, and that's what made the lessons mean more things, you know what I mean? Anyways, I have a lot of opinions about The Simpsons, so much so that I could write a video essay about it. I'm not going to, because I don't care enough about The Simpsons to do so, nor do they care about me. Ow, my hip! Um, the music, great. Also slaps. Um, but yeah, I just, I've got a lot of feelings about The Simpsons. Um, but thankfully, somebody, uh, already fucking wrote a video essay. Several, actually. Two video essays. Um, so I don't have to fucking write them myself. Let me just double check so I can... Let me just find the guy responsible so I can actually shout him out. He's got, like, millions of subscribers, so it's not like me saying something is really gonna, like, change his fate, but he's a really excellent content creator. Hello? 
going through my thousands of subs uh, subscriptions on YouTube. Whilst you're there, you should look up the Pomico Vice database. Um, Super Eye Patch Wolf, that's him. Um, go watch his Simpsons videos. Go watch all of his videos. I just keep them on in the background sometimes because he's got a nice voice. And he tells stories good. There we go. Sounds in the Keep Springfield slapped. It's true. It's true. All right, here and here. Ah! Ah! There we go. She's done it. Oh, piss. <laughs> Give me a second. Put that over there. I have to build a billion things first. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time to turn over a new leaf. Oh, yeah. Very funny. I enjoyed that immensely. So what's everyone's plans for the evening? Got anything fun to do? I'm gonna take another walk on my little treadmill. My little treadmill. Get some steps in. Work out. I got a goal that I kind of have to stick to. Stupid idiot setting goals and trying to accomplish them. Who's got the time? <laughs> All right, um, let's pop these bad boys on. We put one here, and then we're gonna put one here, and then we're gonna put one here, and then we're gonna put one this here on the side. Hello? There, fine, whatever. Um, and then we're gonna put one here. And then we're gonna put another one on this awkward space. Then we're gonna put one here. And then we're gonna put one here. And then we're gonna put one here. You know what I could go for right now? A blizzard. I know I just said I had a goal, but I also want a blizzard. Um, put this to the side for a second. And now we're going to build nine of these. So. One. Ah! Two. What? Three. Ah, four. Five. Blah! Five. Six. There. Seven. Whoopsie. Seven. Seven. Eight and nine. We have a little a little sprout left over for later. Nine. And now we're gonna pop these in. All right. One, two. Sorry, my nose itches. Um, I don't know why I apologize for such things. Three. Like, 
the nose is gonna itch it's fine or saw a tweet earlier today that was like i really need like an electric collar that zaps me when i apologize for something that's not my fault and that was so real that was so incredibly real all of canada would just be brought to their knees um Maybe I'll just, there we go. Where'd the other ones go? Um, oh, there's that one. Oh, wait a sec. Where does this one go? Oh, here, duh, idiot. <laughs> Moron, me, Moron, idiot, there. Look, fun! Okay. And now we're going to put the last two biddies on. One. Two. There we go. And now we uh, once again put this to the side for but a moment. And we... Time to, time to apply our little, our little fella. There we go. And then we impale him with one of these. Oh, shit. Yeah. Stressful, the life of a ladybug. I don't think anybody understands. And we got these. And then we got this. I have, like, the biggest tuna salad sandwich for lunch, like, ever. Uh, today it was just a hot just a gargantuan sandwich it was the biggest sandwich uh, I know it sounds like I'm hyping it up believe me it was a ferocious sandwich why does this have a starburst on it riddle me this Batman um uh, and it wasn't even that good like it was good but not like whoa shit this is the best sandwich I've ever had could have used way more dill, but that's, you know, that's a personal preference. I can see why they wouldn't want to do that for everybody. Boom, bam. And then we're going to put that right here, even here, right there. Oh, that's so easy. Uh, I don't think I need these anymore. What I need... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And, wouldn't you fucking believe it? One, two, three. Wow. I didn't realize they were eggs. They look like eggs anyway. When you put them together. Watch this. Watch this. First you get the cracked egg shell. And then you put in a little eggy yolk. See? That's a fuck it. That's an egg. Confirmed. Egg. Confirmed. Plants lay eggs. You heard it here first. What are we talking about? <laughs> There we go. Eggy. I might be, you know, in the minority saying this. Eggs? Gross. Gross. Gross, disgusting things. There we are. 10 out of 10 playlist. Thank you! It's a mix of my... Eclectic music taste. All right, time to plug in the eggies. Which hole do I plug in the egg? I will assume this one. All right, it says we have all of these left over, which includes an extra little friend. So I may be adding him to the build a little bit later, just because. 
for those of you who aren't super aware, Songs by the Tragically Hip. The greatest Canadian band to ever exist. No, whatever you think that's not the hip is actually wrong. Um, yeah, you're bad, I guess. It's not Rush or whatever. Marianas Trench. It's it's these guys. And yes, I listed Marianas Trench next to Rush. Leave me alone. I'm not gonna lie, Canada doesn't have a lot of bands I can name off the top of my head. Ah! A bit fell. Alright, sorry. Let me just sort these. Let me sort these like a good egg. Like a good noodle. Speaking of good noodle, wouldn't this make an excellent little hack? I thought so. <laughs> If no one else did, I did. There's like a lot of bits here, friends. I'll get I'll get through this fairly quickly though. Don't you Don't you worry your little friggin' heads. I'm the master sorter. Sorting master. Um, these are all colors that you're not used to seeing in Lego sets, so I'm pretty pleased. Like, I get so used to, like, one kind of Lego set. That sometimes I don't, you know, stop and smell the flowers. Oh, yuck. Genius, I know. I'll be here all week, friends. Gonna move these over a tad. Because I know we have to also sort these, which is going to be a heckin' little nightmare. There. All these pinks can go right here. Shoop de whoop. All these can go here. Here's something else they put in separate little baggies. The um, opposite sides. The lefts and the rights go in different bags. All right, now we got some little purple and little yellow flowers. This will be cute. And another piece, we got one of these, even though we have one left over from previous. So that'll be fun. All right. Come here. Oh, boy. Whoops, that's not the right one. Come here, friend. Shake hands. Um, also, one thing you desperately need to know about me. Um, I love Elton John. I love Elton John so much. I saw him in concert. I went to an Elton John concert. I was the youngest person there who wasn't a child going with their parents. And I was there with my mom. <laughs> oh man, I love Elton John. I love his music. What a range. He makes me happy. What a success. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer person. I'm pleased. Oh, piss. Okay. Um, I feel like we could have done this as an earlier step, friends. I feel like this didn't need to be done this way. I bet it was a damn good show. It was incredible. Um, it was the best. Uh, he played the piano the whole last time. 
Um, I will say, not as perhaps energetic as maybe 40 years ago. But I didn't exist then, so we're going to get what we get. All right, I'm just going to lie this down a little. Uh, but no, he was a great entertainer. The stage was built so perfectly. Um, same when I saw the Beach Boys. You saw the Beach Boys? I love the Beach Boys. And that's not even, like, me going, oh, I, love I fucking love the Beach Boys. I have, once again, give me get a test. I have a Beach Boys playlist. I have, like, Beach Boys that just come up on shuffle in the car. Like, it, I fucking love the Beach Boys. Which, by the way, was the precursor to the Beatles, who were the precursor to the, the fucking insert boy band name here, who was insert to the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Fucking learn. Learn your heritage. At least I think the Beach Boys came before the Beatles. A little gray there. A little gray. But so are they, so it's fine. So we went with these two 60-year-old ladies. Oh, that sounds like my kind of jam. There she goes. Sorry, something just finally clicked. Um, I would fucking love to see the Beach Boys. Um, in perhaps the 1950s. <laughs> oh, I would have loved to see them 60, 70 years ago. There we are. They were only half there. Well, yeah, they were only, they're only half alive. Like, not just, like, because they're old, like, only half of them are alive. I think two of them are dead anyway. Might just be one. I might have Beach Boys on this playlist. And if I don't, I should. Okay, I've, I've plopped those on. We're moving on. Um, let's go purple. And whatever the fuck this is. Sorry, I had to lean in to check. And then a little perp on top, a little purple, little swoop. Wow. Oh, and then we put a red rod right up there. There we go. And then a little green thing. Yep, just right there. What a gem. And then we're going to put a fucking ring around it, I guess. How do I? Oh. And then we're going to put it in place with a stick. The geniuses that come up with shit like this, genuinely, they're geniuses. I want to get that clear. Some of the smartest people alive build Lego sets. And that's fact. It's actually fact. Oh, one sec speed is fine. And I'll be real, the dumbest people alive, the logo sets. I know that because I do. Oh my good heavens! Look at this stuff! No wonder we have so many pink, and it's asking me to build two. So let's be quick and redo this step. Uh, I'll put him there. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm just like, fucking breathing down the microphone. I'm so, I'm so sorry. The rod right up the ass of this flower. Eh. Then the green. Perfect. Then we get the yellows. And we get oh. Spin this to be upright. 
Did I do this wrong? I think I did this wrong. We'll do it this way. We'll flip it over. Oh. Ah! I had an interesting conversation with my coworker today who's equally obsessed as mon with the monster energy as I am. She actually, like, emailed monster, like, corporate and, like, sucked up for a free product, which was my idea. So, she, <laughs> she, if Monster Energy mails her any products, she owes me a can. Truthfully, she owes me more, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, what do you know? It's my favorite song. Fun fact, in case anybody cared, this is my favorite song. Ah, oh, piss. All right. Let's get all the bits. We need 18. There we are. And then we need another one of these. Quickly build these. There we are. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm in the I'm in the process of like commissioning emotes. Oh, you guys are gonna laugh so heckin' hard. They are so so, I'm not even building these on camera. They are so funny. Looks like a pile of teeth. That it do. Thank God I'm not going to the dentist tomorrow. I'd be scared. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then we just, I guess, build the flower. This is like rest of the fucking owl. Two, three, four, help, five. You can tell I'm not doing it super straight. Six, nor do I do most things super straight though. Seven, eight, nine. All right, they're relatively evenly spaced. Should I tilt them up a little? Yeah, let's tilt them up a little. Okay, they're a little, a little awkwardly spaced on this side. There we go. Um. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And then I'm gonna put another fucking flowery bit or whatever on top. Mm. And then we're gonna install it onto our trellis. Probably onto the red thing. That seems like it works. Uh, this way? Perfect. Fucking aces. There we go. We have a flower. It's a little ugly, but I think she's got it where it counts. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta do it again. One. <laughs> Two. This is- okay. I love building Lego. The three. This is the worst part. Four. Five. Fucking six. Seven. Eight. This one's a little awkward. Eight. Nine. I love the little goofy flower. All right. One. Let's, let's, let's tilt them up to start with. One, and then this, two, and 
and then three, and then four, five, shit, six, oh, I, I kind of bulged it up. Oops, other way, idiot. Uh, seven, eight, oh, piss, nine. There, so that's a flower. She's a little, once again, more spaced out in other areas, but, you know, she's got to where it counts. So we're just gonna turn these up a little. There we go. Boom, bam. A flower, more or less. I think they're, yeah, I think this is the way it's supposed to go. Well, she's, she's a little fucking ugly, but that's okay. So am I. Uh, we're gonna put her here. Wah! Wah! Perfect. Ah! There we go. How do they smell? Ugh! Like plastic. Oh, I forgot to put the little swoop. There we are. Times three, you say? Okay. Well, we're near the end, you can tell, because the process bit is over here. Whew. So we need to make three of these. So we'll already, we'll get the three out. This. See? Three. Um, I'm going to have to concentrate really hard not fucking this up. Because genuinely it feels like I already have. Um, there we are. Now we gotta do it this way. Because again, like these are different pieces. They're the lefts and the rights. And you may think, Pomico, you you have to know your lefts and rights. You're 28. I do. But, like, in a way that you kind of have to think about it first. You know? I don't have to, like, uh, which is left and right. I know my lefts and my rights. Sometimes, though, when you're building Lego, it's hard. And also, look at this. See how this piece is a slightly different color than the other pieces? It's because it is a slightly different piece. That pisses me off so bad. What the hell? That's so irritating. Eh. Eh. Like, what's... Sorry, I dropped a piece. What's the purpose? I'll know yet. Yeah, see, I can see it over there that I will learn about the purpose soon enough. But I'm content to just bitch about it for a minute. You know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta bitch. Now, let's see here. Um, I go this way. And then we're gonna need... Uh, three of these. We're gonna need shocker. Three of these. And then you would not fucking believe it. Three of these. That's wrong. Nope, that's right. God, I can't fucking- even I'm having problems with the color now! But on the upside, there's only one piece that is this color, so I know. Or there's only that piece in this color, so I know I'm doing it right. There. Now what do I do? This way. Schwabam. And then, schwoopily. And then, 
Waha. Perfect. And then I take one of these, this stick, and uh, I apply my creation to the stick. See? Stick. Apply. See? Wow, how pretty. Oh God. Um, I have a flower with a stick on it. And I do this because apparently this way wasn't illustrative enough. I have to do this. Eh. And then I have to put, where's my green thing? This green thing on and then we're done. And then we move on to the other stick. Looks like a bunch of ducks. I agree. Okay. One, two, three. One. Two. Three. That didn't... There we go. I was going to say that didn't click. Um. One. Two. Two, three. Sorry, I got really distracted by the song because I read a series of tweets about like how the old Fall Out Boy songs are like so fucking misogynistic, but we just kind of let them do that anyway. <laughs> and it was just a really funny thought pattern to have. All right, time to do this a fucking three more times. Oh, God fucking damn it. Come here. So how could we have possibly let Fall Out Boy get away with these horrible lyrics? And the response was, we didn't know what they were saying. He never enunciated well enough for us to understand. And that's true, genuinely. I don't know if you've ever, if you've, like, listened to an old Fall Out Boy. It's like old My Chemical Romance. If they fucking wanted you to know what they were saying, they would have fucking enunciated better. You never heard the words? Yeah, don't look them up. Great album. Fucking superstar album. Never been a better album. I'm lying. There's been better albums. Fall Out Boy's had better albums. Um, but just so you know, it's, uh, they're not always kind, and that's okay. Their uh, newest album, So Much for Stardust, is their best album ever. I'm willing to go on record and say that again. It's their best album ever. Yeah, and you know what? I'll say it one more time. So Much for Stardust is Fall Out Boy's best album ever. It's true. Um, and I know like that's kind of a controversial statement because everyone's like, oh, gee, Fall Out Boy's the greatest. No, they're fucking, they're not. You're not a teenager anymore. Come on. Time to move on. I know you loved the music when you were a kid. That's why I still listen to Panic at the Disco, even though they're shitheads. Well, it's just Brendan Urie that's a shithead. Because there's a piece of me that's like, all right, I sold my soul to this band a long time ago. But, like, they've done better things. Except for Brendan Urie, who's fucking declined in music quality for 20 years. All right. Holy hell. Oh, piss. You guys are never gonna... Oh. Holy tits. I don't think I did this right. Sorry. Just gotta... What? I just gotta 
I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Okay, let's move these pieces over. Ah! Um. Ah! The green! Okay. How could this be true? Hold on. Give me a second, friends. I gotta... Yeah, there we are, sort of. Oh, never mind. Correct? Not correct. Correct? Correct! I figured it out. Ugh! That took a lot longer than it was supposed to. Sorry! Voila! Now let's install, shall we? Let's install it here. And just, just plop that thing right in. Put these this way. There we go. And then... We've done it! We've built the trellis. Good news, we have room. We have room for him. I'll put him on a flower over there. How incredible. How much fun was this, friends? I really enjoyed my time. And we have so many extra bits. Pardon me. So I'll be, uh... Finding a plastic bag to put those in. Probably this one. I've kept it a while from one of my ongoing builds. Alright. Well, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. How's everyone doing? It, that didn't take us very long. It It took us like an hour and a half. So... How long have we been streaming? Yeah, it literally took us like an hour and a half. I'm really impressed with the level of detail. I'm more impressed than anything that this was free. This was a free gift with purchase. Um, time to rebuild the world! Look at this! Love. Love. Um, if I have any advice for you folks, um, if you're within the means to fucking buy a Lego set. Lego sets are so fun. They're very, like, meditative. Very, you know, soothing. I know I didn't sound very soothed when I was putting it together. Um, and in some regards I was not. But I promise it's soothing. Alright? I promise. I'm just gonna hydrate a little. Mm. Hydration. Hydration. Um, all right, well, I, I really don't, the pieces just fucking click into place. What do we do now? I'm, maybe we raid. Maybe we'll raid. Let's see who's raiding. Much like life doesn't. You're too true, Alleywag. Too true. All right, here's, we're gonna raid. Nexu, because we always do. Um, alrighty. Uh, let's, let's go. Let's start a raid. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. It's been so much fun just chilling and hanging out and just fucking balling. Like, I love doing shit like this just taking some time building some lego um it was fun to hang out but for now i will bid you adieu i'll be back on thursday with the uh, i mean you know the usual i can't stream saturday because i got shit going on but in the meantime it was fun i love you see you later bye